Okay, there's a few more things that we want to say. So, also part of self-care is having a bestie. Totally. Yes that you can talk to about your husband, that you can <laughs> say all of your most personal <laughs> thoughts and feelings. And while she might judge you, she doesn't let you know. <laughs> no, you don't judge me. That was so salty. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I don't judge you. You don't judge me. You don't judge me. Okay, so yes. So that we can tell each other anything. Right. And it's a safe place to be. Yes. Now, I don't think that you are a substitute for like professional mental health, but no. I can tell you like my deepest, darkest moments and I know that you love me and you care about me and you will support me as I kind of walk through my shit. Yes. Yeah. I think it's also important to have a friend that calls you out on your bullshit and you also need to call your own self out on your bullshit at times and it's hard but yeah. it's important because that helps change. Like what's something that you have called yourself out on before? Like um, that I blame and nag everyone else but I am actually a huge part of the problem mm -hmm. in my house mm -hmm. yeah so right recognizing when you're deflecting and yes. trying to not own exactly the problem. when yeah. I'm trying to blame everyone else but really I'm the one causing some big issues yeah so for me calling bullshit means knowing when I'm trying to do too much and please everyone because I'm trying to save face when really who gives a shit like, I don't need to save face. If I mess up, I can just say, I messed up. I'm going to try again. I'm sorry I let you down. Right. And just own it. Own it. Yes. And when I was 29, I did not want to turn 30. Like, that was a big deal for me. Like, 30 was not going to be fun. But I absolutely love the hell out of being in my 30s. Like, yeah. <laughs> because... I don't give a shit no more and I think that that's really important so I feel like I've been there for a while yeah. sis and when you're in your 30s you can be like oh. I mean shit we're in the tub in our bathing suits <laughs> hello and we're not like models but we're still in our bathing suits and we don't give a shit and <laughs> Did we mention we're amateurs and we're we don't total, have a script? Total amateurs. No script. We're amateurs. So um, that's another thing. I don't really like being an amateur because I like to do everything perfect. But part of being an amateur means you get to say, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, oh, well. So that's what we're doing right now. And self-care is knowing when to ask for help sometimes. Mm. Like today yes. we were a little stressed. Get oh. ready for this. And my husband made us lunch. Just mac and, and brought cheese, it to us in the tub. He said more than that today. Oh, yeah. He also brought us our wine yeah. and our chocolates mm -hmm. that we'll get to later, and our wine glasses. And he's helped us with our camera and our lighting. Yeah. So I think self care too is knowing who is in your circle. Yes. Who definitely. is in your circle? Who is going to lift you up when you need it the most? And I can say that my husband and you are yes. pretty much my circle. And in my... Your mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> my mom. My mom. I know. I don't know what to do with my mom. Mm, yes, she took Spencer mom's... yesterday when he was having a mental health crisis. He was having... A, my son was having a mental health crisis. And um, it's been really tough. And he needed a change of scenery. So she took him for the evening. And it saved my life. But I think okay. knowing who's in your circle. Yes. And knowing who is going to be there for you. Yes. when you need it the most because I fucking work hard like I've got a job I'm in school I've got six kids and sometimes I get really low lows and knowing who's gonna just not judge me for my lows and tell me that I need to just snap out of it and just mm -hmm. love me through it and so knowing your circle I think yes. 
And I think sometimes when people are in their lows, they don't want people to try to make it okay. They right. just want you to be there too with them. Mm -hmm. And they want you to hear them and they just want you to be. You don't have to fix everything. You don't have to make everything okay. I think sometimes you just have to be with the people you love. Right. Like, I still remember my birthday last year. Do you remember my birthday last year? <laughs> um, I think so, yeah. I was really low. Yes. Like, I was having some pretty serious low moments that I won't go into detail about. And I just needed a friend, and you came. Yes. You we came, came in, me. and we... Um, abducted you yeah. for lunch mm -hmm. and not just, that a lunch fixes anything doesn't fix everything but it no. got me to get out of bed which I hadn't yes. been out of bed in days and so and your little one I remember making the comment we're gonna take you on a birthday lunch and she was mad and said I want to go on a birthday lunch too and so we just hurried out of the house and she had a lunch and it might have not fixed everything but it made it okay for a moment for a so, moment for a moment yeah yes oh i love you friend i love you too okay so i forgot to say one thing about being in your 30s because i really love being in my 30s so when you're in your 30s you can be like oh my god i'm so old but you're really not so old and so <laughs> it's like the best ever <laughs> Because you can know, like, the people in their 20s, like, oh gosh, I've got so much more experience than you, but you really don't. No. And, but you can, I just love the 30s. I hope I'm 39 forever. <laughs> I'm so close to 39, you're all you don't even know. Really are. Yeah. I like being in my 30s, too. 30s it's pretty awesome. fucking fun. Yeah. yeah. And I'm aging a little bit, but I don't care. Timmy's <laughs> <laughs> okay. to be a Yeah. Okay. I feel like we're, okay. We're going to have lots of things.